Thank you for joining us for this episode of Cinema and a Snack. Our episode is fun and feisty. As you can tell, I am very fun and very feisty with my hat. Our snacks are here. They are also fun and feisty. They are very tasty. The movie we will be watching is The Birdcage with Nathan Lane. Why are the both of you not fun and feisty like I am? You need to be more fun and feisty. Because you have and we don't. Is that your problem as well? Will that make you fun and feisty if you receive a hat? I will take that as a yes. Let them have hats. So, that fixed everything? Hey, you both have hats. <gasps> I have a hat now! It's yeah. tiny! Well, what happened to your hat? <sighs> Alright, well, apparently... It osmos osmosticized there. itself and turned into two. Words and stuff. I do words good! No more good. alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least everything's back to normal. Although I just don't feel as fun and feisty as I was a little bit ago. I don't know why. I think I was much, much more energetic and happier then. Five different snacks today. We have two Blue Diamond Almond Bold flavors. We have Habanero Barbecue and Sriracha. Then we have... This one was actually really surprising to me. We had a uh, family friend that actually told us about these. I guess there's three different flavors of them right now, but this one fit the theme the best. M&M Chili Nut. I'm hoping these are spicy and not like our, uh, oh, what was it that we had? The peanut butter soda? No. The wasabi Kit Kat. The wasabi yeah. Kit Kats. Yeah, that one. Delicious. No spice, though. Disappointing. Yeah. We got um, Leslie's Green Chili Brittle. And Cheritos Fuego Spicy Takis. Now, I have already checked ahead of time. All of this will be on our store later, so you can check that out. Mix and match from previous episodes. See what you like. If you don't, that's fine too. Um, so what do you guys want to start with? The Cheritos or the almonds? Let's start with the two almonds because they're already on the table. All right. So we're going to start with the habanero barbecue. We actually have honey and ketchup to take away the spice if it gets too bad. We didn't have any milk because we didn't think this one through. But hopefully it won't get that bad. We tried. All right, so habanero barbecue. Hopefully we won't have to use either of these. One, because I don't like a lot of spicy One. things. <laughs> I hope this is spicy. I'm excited. All right, cheers. Mm. Ooh. Smoky. This is so pleasant. I'm disappointed, but I was a spice. The happy flavor totally makes up for it. Oh, yeah. Mmm. I've been to New Mexico Albuquerque quite a few times, so this isn't too bad. It's quite fun. This is kind of like like if you're at a bar and you drink beer, it mm -hmm. would make it a little bit spicier. Like this is like a little a good little bar snack type deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, if you took, like, a handful of it, it'd be really spicy, but eating it, like, one at a time is okay. So, for spiciness, I'd say maybe a one or a two out of ten. It's not that spicy at all. You taste the spice, you don't feel the spice too much. It's pretty good. I'd give it a three out of five animal crackers for flavor. Not bad. Not fantastic. I give it... Hmm. I give it a three and a half. It's quite good. Not super spicy. Very good. Really good with probably like kettle corn. Oh man. This mixed with kettle corn. Really good. I, I, I totally bumped this up to a four. It's good. I like it. Yay. Try it. Mm. Eh. I'm not too keen on like spicy things. So I'd probably give it like a like a, I give it a solid three for like flavor because it has like a really good mesquite 
flavor to yep. it. So I give it a three animal cracker. And a two spice level, but solid three animal cracker. Spice level for me is about a one. Moving on! Next item up is the sriracha ones. Now, I know sriracha does have a little bit of spice to it and is pretty good, so hopefully this has the same thing. These look more red than the last ones. Mm -hmm. They smell red. good. Oh. It's a good smell. Alright, bottoms up. Mm. Oh. That's good. Tastes cheesy. Mm hmm. Almost, yeah. Like chili Colby Jack. Chili cheese dog. Chili cheese dog. Yeah. Or chili Frito Lay. Or not Frito Lays. Chili, like, Frito snacks. Yeah. Chili cheese. It has more of a, yeah, it has more of a chili flavor than a sriracha flavor. It's not bad flavor, just I mean, it's not no, no sriracha flavor to me. But sriracha is made of chili. Yes, but this has like that chili cheese flavor. I guess. Like, like chili that chili. you'd eat. Oh, true. Yeah. Oh, chili meat. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You guys, come on. <laughs> spice, though? There's actually no spice to this at all. Flavor wise, three out of five. Now that taste it tasted pretty good, but especially if you like the um, Frito chili cheese flavor, tastes pretty good. But no spice. If it were labeled chili cheese dog, I'd give this a five. But it's labeled sriracha, so I give it a two. Spice level is one. Flavor wise, is a two purely because it's supposed to be sriracha, but it tastes like a chili cheese dog, so it gets a two. Animal cracker. Well, I'm not a huge fan of sriracha, and I honestly like this because there's really, there's no spice to it. There's a little bit of heat afterwards, which would probably give it like a spicy factor if you literally like ate a handful of it, like I said about the other one. Yeah. So I give it, yeah, I kind of give it like a two and a half because the flavor kind of lies to you. So <laughs> yeah. two and a half animal crackers. Let's move on. Hey. Okay. Next one is the cherry tools. These remind me of I've had tacos before, which are basically like a knockoff version of Doritos. Okay. But um, these actually remind me of like Andy's hot fries. Okay. But I don't know what this tastes like. <laughs> so I don't, you definitely got the reddest one out of all of them. So I am very sorry for your poor taste buds. If it's even spicy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Bottoms up. Oh, air spice. No, no, it wasn't spice. It lied to me. Well, it has lime in it. Oh, there it is. There's the, there's the lime. Oh. Yeah. They're spicy. That's spicy. Oh, that's spicy. Oh, my... Yeah, my nose. <laughs> <laughs> my nose. Woo! Eh. Mm. I'm totally going to try a handful. The sad thing is, she's not even on anything. <laughs> Just those. <laughs> you want to keep eating them, but you don't, because they're just so spicy. Ooh. I honestly thought that the lime was going to help soften it. It was a lie. The lime increases, not increases, enhances <coughs> that. Not going to lie, though. Good flavor. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Uh, now that we're back from our bitch fit, <laughs> I gotta say, spice level, eh, about a five to a six. Tasty, I like it. I'd give it a uh, give it a four <laughs> out of five animal crackers. You hit, you get hit with the lime. As soon as that lime goes away, you get the spice. So. She got hit the hardest. That was so much fun. <laughs> like for me, it was the corn first, and then the lime.
lime and then wow spice and then back to lime. I totally give that a four out of five animal crackers. I've had spicier things, but that was delicious. It's delicious. This was spicy. This was spicy. You couldn't tell by my reaction with the honey. Um, yeah, it's spicy. So I give it like a, <clears throat> someone who doesn't like spicy things, like an eight and a half out of 10. Uh, but flavor wise was actually really good. So I give it a four out of five. Four is all around, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Four is all around. Oh. Four. Okay. All right, next. All right, so the green chili brittle. Let's, uh, I don't know why, but this one's actually kind of worrisome to me. So. Such a big piece. That's what she said. Mm, take a tiny piece. <laughs> smells scary. It smells good, but it smells mm. also kind of scary. So, bottoms up. Sticky. Mm hmm. Crunchy. Chewy. You also got a big piece of. Not spicy. Not spicy at all. Tasty, but not spicy at all. Very peanut flavor though. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> swallowed. One starts to swallow. Nuts go down the wrong way? Yeah, they did. So, for review on it, spice level, non existent. Flavor tastes like a very heavy peanut flavor. It's kind of like, um, kind of reminds me of a baby Ruth. Mm hmm. Yeah, baby Ruth. Um, Three out of five. I'm not a super big fan of peanuts, but wasn't bad. Like I said, it tastes pretty much like a baby roof, just without the um, creamy center. This is very much like a payday, which is a baby roof without the chocolate. Um, is that what I'm thinking of, where it's like covered in nuts then? Mm-hmm. Okay, so payday. so payday, not baby roof. That's okay. <laughs> I'm glad I remembered it last second. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a payday. Um, just covered in sugar. Spice wise is a zero, which is very disappointing. So I'm gonna give this one about a two. Animal cracker. Um, well, I mean this video is all about spice, so I would give it like yeah, like a two. Mm -hmm. Um spice I mean like two animal crackers, sorry. Taste is two animal crackers, but spice is zero. Like, it's not there at all. It's no. made with green chili. You can taste, like, the green chili in mm -hmm. it, but there's no spice. So, if you're looking for something that's, like, a good dessert all the way from Albuquerque, New Mexico. All the way from Amazon. Mm -hmm. From uh, our store. But, yeah, you can get it from mm -hmm. our store. <laughs> but, you know, it's really good. Spice-wise, zero. Two animal crackers for taste, because uh, there was no spice in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so so for the last one, we're doing the M&M chili nut. I am really, really hoping that these are spicy because we only have one really spicy thing, which is kind of disappointing for a fun and feisty. So, yeah, I'm really hoping this is spicy. Again, M&M chili nut. Bottoms up. <sighs> Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, that comes out of nowhere. Gotta admit, I'm happy it was spicy. Spice level, I'd say maybe about a 5 out of 10 or so. It was pretty good. You know, it tastes like a normal m m You didn't think there was any spice until the end, and then it just like, oh, there I am. So, uh... For being M&M's and spicy, I'd say 5 out of 5. I also, I also give this one a 5 out of 5. Very surprising. Happy. I loved it. Definitely a 5 out of 5. 
That's a try. Um, yeah. They really played you on this one, because, you know, like we said earlier, like, milk is supposed to, like, make it not spicy. So you're like, oh, the chocolate's gonna dull it down. Oh, no. No. They kick you. Right, right in the kicker. <laughs> so, uh, definitely, for somebody, like I said, who doesn't like spice, this is kind of like an 8 out of 10 spicy. But taste-wise, 5 out of 5. So that was fives all across. Five out of five. <laughs> Does not disappoint. So, the movie we're going to be watching tonight is The Birdcage. Um, I'm not exactly sure how we're supposed to watch this as a movie. It's entertaining, but I'm not seeing how it's a film. I, maybe there's something I'm not... Let me worry about that one. This isn't a movie. This is a prop, isn't it? Once more. All right. This is the real movie called The Birdcage. It stars Robin Williams and Nathan Lane. Me and Ari haven't seen it yet, but... but I have. I chose this movie for fun and feisty because Nathan Lane is a feisty cat. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, I chose this because when you think of the summer or Cinco de Mayo, you think of fun places, like hot places, like the beach, like Miami, which is where this takes place. Or my pants. Or Bandito's pants. <laughs> <laughs> this movie is basically Robin Williams and Nathan Lane are one couple. Robin Williams and his ex-wife had a child. Gene Hackman and I don't remember who he's married to in the movie have a daughter. The, out of the, the two couples, their kids are trying to get married. The, uh, the daughter's parents don't know that Robin Williams and Nathan Lane in this movie are together so they try to have a dinner party and you know we'll see what kind of hij hijinks happens wait a second so the parents the two kids are getting married mm -hmm. but the parents have never met correct oh this should be good <laughs> <laughs> you know now that i think about this like that whole situation would definitely be a feisty uh meeting. <laughs> yeah it's it's gonna get hot and feisty. Oh my goodness. It is so... If you've seen oh, this movie before, play. you'll understand why this all makes sense. If you've never seen it before, I highly suggest watching it. It's a good movie. Oh, I love... I've been watching this movie ever since I was a kid. It's such a good movie. And the more you it's watch it... It's a long-ass movie. No. <laughs> and the more you watch it, the more things you'll pick up on it. It, <laughs> it, or, it is such a good movie. It is so happy. All right. All right. I guess since she's seen it before, we'll end up being uh, new eye judges on it. Anyway, um, <laughs> see you in a second. All right. So to get ready for this movie, we actually just watched a theatrical trailer. We had to <laughs> hold off on recording because she was laughing her ass off too much. <laughs> One of my favorite movies. This looks really good from the theatrical trailer. Apparently the, um, the son of Robin Williams... Falls down a lot. At least that's what it looks like in the trailer. No, 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 no. That's their butler, Agador. He's oh, well, fabulous. Apparently, the butler falls down a lot. He hates and, shoes. And gravity, apparently. <laughs> but I'm really excited to see this. And who's the um, Darren Williams partner? Nathan Lane. He Nathan is Lane, that's right. Fabulous and fierce. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan Lane looks like he's going to play a uh, pretty good one. So we're excited to see this. Uh, and of course, I've seen it before, they haven't, I know what they're in for, they're going to love it, and when you guys watch it, or if you've already seen it, then you'll know what kind of, you know, awesome things are in store for everyone else who's not seen it before. Yeah. Wah ho! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's start. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Oh, your nipples hit. Great minds think alike. If you break the handle off, you should be able to get in the door easier. Oh, that's good. That's good. Tone that means you know everything because you 
you're a man and I know nothing because I'm a woman. You're not a woman. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Nathan Lane looks a pretty woman lady. <laughs> His makeup is on point. He has the greatest eye structure. I'm sorry, I can't like Which look away. One? You don't come back here. You don't ask me for anything, okay? So it's better than the George Clooney look. Okay, that's yeah, that that's angle, good. like it's, it's perfect. Hug your son. <laughs> Are you crazy? Not on the question. You can't get married. Not even eighteen. Who is this boy, Barbie? When was the last time you saw him? Please don't call me Barbie. This afternoon at two o'clock. We've been sleeping together for a year. Oh, God. I think it's funny that that's She's Allie McBeal. Yeah. The book looks blank. Real mama. Mm-hmm. Aww. I saw this movie before The Lion King, and it made me fall in love with Nathan Lane. Like, as an actor. They've definitely updated the, uh, the digital enhancement on this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> And as if you didn't catch the hint of what Anna was trying to say, the fact that Nathan Lane is actually Simone in the Lion King. Timon. Timon. Yeah. Timon. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. So he only wears this one. You look awful. What's wrong? I was getting married. Don't be silly. I got a pork roast for dinner. I wanted to get filet mignons. They're so expensive. <laughs> oh, shit, that took forever. <laughs> not, not a miracle. <laughs> now, when I and Senator Keeney here founded the Coalition for Moral Order, it was to express moral rather than political views. <laughs> Seeing him eat all that chocolate, all I can think of is that flashback in Family Guy when Brad's like, I love chocolate, but I can't eat it because then I get fat. Yeah. But it's so good. good. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I'm more in luck because he doesn't make this 
for everybody. This is his specialty, seafood chowder. Isn't that an egg? What? An egg. Why, yes it is. It is a huevo. This is so Guatemala. They put cardboard eggs in everything down there. Which one is the mother? <laughs> A good movie. I'm so happy I got to finally show this movie to both Rodney and Audrey. This has been a movie since uh, this has been a movie that I've been watching since I was a little kid, since I first moved to Florida. I love this movie so much, and I easily and not just because you know this is a movie that I've seen before, but I easily give this a five out of five Animal Crackers. It's a good movie. It has a good moral to the story. And it just has so many happy memories in it. I just I just love this movie so much. And Nathan Lane is amazing in this movie. Yeah. How about you? Don't be a dick. <laughs> Seriously though, the kid was an absolute ass to his parents, to Robin Williams and to Nathan Lane. But the best part about it is Robin Williams and Nathan Lane, the entire time, yes. they knew who they were. They stayed to who they were. Even though they tried to help the kid, they stuck to truly who they were. This movie, it had everything. Good values, strong morals, comedy, <clears throat> Nathan romance, Lane. phenomenalness, feistiness, Nathan Lane, Robin Williams, which... Small moment of silence for uh, Robin Williams. You will be missed. But this was phenomenal. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've ever seen Robin Williams act as fabulous as he did. <laughs> Just. Uh, there was something else I was going to say, but I forgot what yeah, it was. Okay. You could see this with pretty much anyone. Mm -hmm. It, it's awesome. Your parents have most likely seen it already. Please yeah. go see it with them. It came out in the nineties, and there's not enough good things I can say about this. Really, you'll see Timon in a different light, and it's happy. But I gotta say, easily <laughs> five out of five. This was just awesome. It was a really nice movie. It was definitely a family type film. Um, uh, I highly recommend that if you're under 13 that you watch this with your parents because uh, there is like partial nudity in it. So It's really quick. You almost miss it. Partial nudity. Watch yeah. it with your parents if you're under 13 still. Um, but it's a good family movie. I highly re recommend it. And it's like really, really active. So like even in the beginning there's really no part that really slows down. Um, there's a lot of like good reflecting moments, like get refreshed about the characters in the movie. Um, you will get frustrated for sure, but it there are points in the movie that really make up for it. So yeah. I definitely give this a five out of five animal crackers. So fives all around because yeah. Yeah. it was just a really good <clears throat> feel good movie. And mm -hmm. I have to say, of every uh, snack we tried tonight. The spiciest was definitely Nathan Lane. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> oh my goodness. And offer still stands. If I see Nathan Lane, I will most likely go up to him and ask, uh, I'll go up to you and ask you, can I please give you a hug? I'm not fucking asking. I'm just doing it. <laughs> Nathan Lane, you are amazing. And I really wish <laughs> I can meet you in person. I love you so much. This is the movie that made me fall in love with you. Not 
uh, The Lion King, but this movie. You are amazing. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> if you ever do see this, you are awesome. Yes. Truly. For this episode of Cinnamon a Snack. Don't forget to... Like. Comment. Subscribe. All down below. Alright. So, as I was saying, for this edition of Cinnamon a Snap, that's, that's a wrap. A wrap.